And Mike, each of these women was taken at a different point over a three year period. And our Danita Harris reports for you this morning that they all disappeared from the same general area of Cleveland's west side. Amanda Berry disappeared around 7.30 p.m. April 21st, 2003, a day before her 17th birthday. She called her sister before leaving her job at Burger King. She was last seen at West 110th Street and Lorraine Avenue. Her mother, Lawana Miller, held out hope Amanda was alive. Hopes are in there. They're trying to stay as strong as, as can be, but with no answers and not a lead, not a clue, not nothing, that's... That's what's hard because you don't know. Luana always bought presents for her missing daughter, hoping she'd be home to open them. But Luana passed away in 2006 before knowing the truth about what happened to Amanda. Gina De Jesus vanished about a year later on August 2, 2004, while walking home from school in the same area. Her parents held a vigil every year on the anniversary of her disappearance, never giving up hope their daughter was still alive. I have that hope that we're going to have, bring her home, that way I have to come back out here another year looking for my daughter. Gina's mother has always believed her daughter was kidnapped and sold into the trade. There, of course, was a third young woman, Michelle Knight. She was 21 at the time of her disappearance. She was last seen at a cousin's house near West 106th Street and Lorraine Avenue on August 23rd, 2002. Jason, that means she was the first of these three young women to disappear.